My first tip is make it known that you are available and wanting to marry. Because, you know, often uh, ladies are a bit scared to let people know that they're looking for a husband or, you know, maybe pride can kick in and they don't want people to know that they're looking. Because why? Because people who are of the world, people who don't have the same understanding that we do and have compassion on people that want to follow God's will, which I'll get into in a moment, will we'll say, oh, you know, you're, you're desperate, you're clucky. So a lot of ladies will be scared or be too proud to let people know that they're available or that they are wanting to marry. You know, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be married. So don't let these insults of being desperate or I don't know what, they, what else they call people, desperate or um, clucky. These are the ones I can think of, you know, where you want to be a mother, you want to be married. Look what it says here in 1 Timothy 5. Paul is saying here to, to the women that are not married or have been, have been uh, widowed in this instance, so they, they are unmarried. He says here, I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Now, the, is there any confusion about this verse? There's no confusion about what God wants for a young lady. But how many young ladies in Christian churches these days are saying, I don't know what God's will is for my life. I don't know what God wants me to do with my life. What, what is the will of God for me? When it's, when it's written in plain, plain English right here, it says, I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Right? As though if you don't do these things, the adversary is going to say you're doing the wrong thing. Right? Now, you, knowing this verse is in the Bible, when somebody calls you desperate or calls you clucky, now you, should, you should wear that as a badge of honor, right? Because the fact that they identify that you want to be married, that you want to bear children and guide the house, it's a badge of honor because that is what a woman should be seeking to do, right? Because this is the will of God. This, this means that you're a woman that wants to seek the will of God. You want to do what God has called a woman to do, and that is to marry and bear children and guide the house. Now, a lot of people, as soon as they hear this, in our day and age, it's very uncomfortable because we live in a day and age where people do not value being married. You know, we live in a day and age where people do not value being a mother. People do not value having children. Instead, you know, we live in a day and age where people want to go work and they want to go have a career and be the president of the United States and follow, follow in what, Hillary Clinton's footsteps, right? But this is the day and age we live in because they do not value these things. But this is not what God values. What God values is being a mother, being a wife and having children. You know, it always boggles my mind you know, even somebody who does want to do those things, that wants to work and have a career and all these things, because most of the time women that go into the workforce and give up having children or put their children in daycare, they're usually working quite entry level jobs. You know, a lot of the people that I know, like they're in, they're in customer service or an admin assistant. And you just think like, why, why would I leave looking after my children to go answer emails and answer phone calls? You know, they say like, you know, I, I, I want to get fulfilled. I want to I want to be an independent woman and, and go out and work. And then and then all that happens is they go and they sit in front of a computer all day and they do what I do, which is answer emails and answer phone calls. And the only reason why that 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 job gives me any reason is because I'm looking after my family. So like, why would a woman want to leave looking after the family to do what a man is doing only to do that to look after his family? So, you know, so, so not only that do, do, is, the, is uh, that, that mindset of, you know, why would you give up something much more valuable, which is taking care of children, having, having the freedom to go where you want, not having to clock in and clock out, put on a uniform, to go clock in and clock out, put on a uniform and sit in front of a computer and answer phone calls and type emails. You know, like that, 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 you know my, my job is not as fulfilling as Elizabeth's job, but it's fulfilling because I do it because I'm trying to provide for my family. Not only that, you know, Jesus said, What shall profit a man if he gain the whole world but lose his own soul? So a soul is much more valuable than any riches that anybody could earn. And you know, you say, oh, well, you know, they're not, no, my, my daughter or my wife, she's not, she's not just some entry level person. She's a manager, she's a CEO, she's the president of the United States. It doesn't matter how much power or how much money you can gain, that position is not anywhere more valuable than being a mother. Because one of your children is more valuable than all the riches, you know, all the iPhones. It doesn't matter if you're the next Steve Jobs. All the iPhones and all the billions of dollars that you can make is not as valuable as one child that you're looking after. And that's why when you see this verse, don't think, oh, that's bondage. 
That's just men trying to oppress women and keep them in the home and, and get them to, you know, they don't want them to be anyone or anything. No, no, we want people to marry and bear children and go out the house because we want women to be something. We want them to be something of value. We want them to do the most important thing in their life, the most valuable thing in life, and that is to be a woman and a mother.